morning guys, I'm trucking down the highway here, coming back from my kids' school, and I realized we didn't complete our segment on subcooling. What does it mean when you have excessive subcooling? The subcooling is way too high for the target. You can even tell this on a Orifice, because even though you don't use subcooling to charge an Orifice, if you have excessive subcooling, you can, it can indicate there's a problem. First problem is overcharge. If you have too much refrigerant in the system, it'll begin condensing too early in the condenser. Therefore, it will cool more beyond the condensation or condensing point and cause excessive subcooling. And that's what the result will be. Another cause for excessive subcooling is a failed metering device or the wrong metering device or a restriction. If someone, something is restricted in the system or if the piston is, let's say, too small of a size, sort of making its own style of restriction, or if the TXV is not opening far enough, allowing enough refrigerant to the evaporator, refrigerant will start to stack before the metering device or before that restriction because it can't make it through the restriction. Therefore, when it stacks, it's going to condense more readily because there'll be a higher pressure and you'll have a higher subcooling. That's just a couple little quick things about what to expect and something to check whenever you have a high subcooling.